Hello everyone. Welcome back to the course on Game Theory. In this video we'll see what do we mean by mixed strategies and why is it important. Till now we have studied games in which a player chose a strategy or action once and for all, meaning that he made the decision and stuck to it every time the game was played. This is called pure strategy. Here the actions adopted by the players are certain. For example, in the battle of the sexes, we saw players either chose ballet or boxing, always. However, players may not always do this. They may randomize their strategies, where sometimes they choose a certain action, while at other times they may choose another action. For example, mixed strategies of battle of sexes game would be where wife 70% of the time chooses ballet and 30% of the time she chooses boxing. Now the next question arises, why should the players randomize or use mixed strategies? To understand this, let's see a few examples. During the period of lockdown, police had to ensure that no one was out in the streets and everyone obeyed the guidelines. However, it could not put its checkposts on all the roads. So to prevent the violators, it used mixed strategy. For some hours of the day, it employed its checkpost on one road and at other times on the other roads. This randomization acted as a deterrent for the violators. Had the police always chosen to put the checkpost on a particular road, violators would have known this and police would not have been able to ensure the enforcement of the guidelines. Another example is exam set by the teacher. Teacher chooses topics at random so as to make the students study everything. Had the teacher always set the same exam paper, students would be inclined to study only those topics and not the others. Another example can be seen in the game of soccer. If the goalkeeper always knew that the player is going to shoot towards the right, he would have obviously jumped towards the right side to defend the goal and hence the other player would never be able to win as his action is known with certainty to the goalkeeper. Hence, to keep the goalkeeper guessing, he will randomize his strategy that sometimes he'll kick towards the left side and sometimes towards the right side. It is not necessary that adopting mixed strategies or randomization, the player will always win. But definitely, he has better chances of winning as it keeps the goalkeeper guessing of what the player will do. So with these examples, we see mixed strategies are very familiar in settings around us. So here I conclude. I hope you got a taste of what mixed strategy is. In the next video, we'll see mathematically define mixed strategies, find out the Nash equilibrium, and see a few more situations involving mixed strategies. So thank you everyone for joining me. If you like my videos, do share and subscribe. And also give your feedback in the comment section below. Thank you everyone.